Hey guys, uh, I've got something new and I'm not sure if it's exciting but hopefully it uh, helps a few people out there. Um, I know it's been a long time uh, between these videos but of course uh, like everything and for everyone else life does happen and um, everything in my life has changed. I bought a different house and uh, oh, you're now sitting in my personal workshop so Hopefully, uh, this means that there will be more video content coming. Um, but we'll see, but we'll talk about the project today. Um, this is actually a set of carburetors of uh, 1983 through 85 uh, XL350R. And uh, these have uh, dual carbs, obviously, on a single cylinder, and they have this funny angled manifold. And uh, basically what that means is to get the carbs on and off, you have to flex the rubber like crazy. And of course that means over time when they're 35 years old, they fail. And that's what's happened with this. This is uh, a guy I know, he's asked me if I can fix this. And I said, well, I can't really fix the existing one, but what I can do is uh, make you a replacement manifold out of stainless steel and use some silicon hose as the joiner for the carbs so the reason we can get away with the silicon hose and just a couple of hose clamps on these is because the carbs are supported on both sides so on this side there's the air box obviously and that's got its own rubber mount and everything um, so what we're going to do is just have two short pieces of silicon hose here and um, a couple of uh, hose clamps, a little bit of stainless pipe, some plate that will have the right holes drilled in it and everything and um, that's the plan. So uh, let's get to it. So this here is the flange that we're going to copy. It has um, two holes in it. Uh, they are, what are they, 23 millimeters. So uh, I have a 22 millimeter annular cutter and I will do that and then I'll finish it off because these are obviously tapered in here because the backside of the carbs is something around 30 millimeters so there is there will be a taper um, I have some stainless steel tube uh, it is 35 mil OD um, one and a half mil wall thickness uh, yeah so it's 32 so this will fit the carburetors perfectly and I'm using some of this uh, 10 millimeter stainless plate as the base for the flange and uh, I will grind the taper into this with by hand with a die grinder. Um, that is basically the whole plan. Uh, it's not too complicated. The hardest part I think will be getting the angles right. Um, I have already measured this off the table and to the top of this is uh, 105 millimeters so uh, as long as I get that height right then these hoses should fit back on when it goes back in the bike and it shouldn't be too much of a problem um, it is going to be tight for space there's no doubt about that but uh, I'm pretty confident we can make it work Okay, so I got a little bit excited there, but um, this is basically where we are. I had cut two short strips of the silicon tube, and then after I had machined those bungs, I just basically loosely assembled it there, a nice fit because they're the right size silicon tube for the carburetors. 
And then I just um, tack welded these on while the carbs were sitting on the top and now I've just pulled them off. So basically now um, I'm just going to uh, weld those out and then I will uh, jump on the die grinder, open that up. Yeah, it's not uh, the most, we say, performance orientated manifold, but this is literally to get an old bike back on the road. So. I guess one at this point I should probably mention the reason why I'm doing this and that is because uh, the original manifolds over there they are no longer available there's not a single one left in the world and the price before they were no longer available was um, over a hundred euros so they weren't cheap to start with and I've heard uh, prices up to 400 US dollars for a good second-hand one. So, it, like, this is completely insane. So, basically, that's what makes this worthwhile. So, here they are after I've finished welding them out. Um, welds come out pretty nice. Uh, definitely, like, a fit for purpose. There's no doubt about that. Um, so yeah, so that's it now. I'm just going to attack it with the die grinder, open those up, give it some extra uh, flow, and then uh, I will uh, flip it out. So this is something a little bit interesting. On the old manifold, you can see here, there's a, mill, uh, a groove milled between the two ports, so that's obviously to balance the carburetors internally. So... I will do that because I am going to end up facing this once I have ground it all out. I'll flip it over, chuck it in the mill and run the face mill over it and then that will make it nice and flat. And then, um, yeah, once I've ground it and then done that, then it'll just be a matter of cutting it out and then uh, that'll be it. Job done. So after attacking that with the die grinder a bit, you can kind of see that that's a nice taper now, so that's going to be just dandy. Um, I'm going to chuck that in the mill, and um, then I'll machine that uh, balance port into the back of it and face it off, and then it's going to be cutting it out with an angle grinder. So here we are, milling the uh, slot into the back before we face it. So now we're just face milling. So, uh, yeah, here's the finished piece. It's pretty sweet, it's all nice, um, surface milled and everything, it's got a pretty good surface finish on it, so um, I think that will mount just nicely with a little bit of, uh, yeah, sealing. Um, but yeah, so, pretty cool. It's a little bit hard to get it on because of the, uh, because of the angles, you know, um, and that, I think, is probably the main reason why the original ones uh, die is because uh, people take them on and off and of course over the years and whatever um, the rubber just gets a little bit harder and obviously it's bonded to the aluminium and that yeah just gives up eventually and then you end up with the, the problem that we have here but um, hopefully this will solve old mate's problem and uh, he should be back on the road in no time but yeah so um after that little thrash, here we have the completed product. Um, looks like it's going to be pretty great. Uh, everything sort of seems like it fits. Uh, obviously I don't have the bike, so it's a little bit difficult. I'm just sort of basing it off a broken manifold and, and uh, everything like that. But it, it goes onto the carburetors, it seals up, uh, everything lines up like inside. So uh, it should be, yeah just great um, but yeah so that's that a little bit of everything all right thanks guys catch you next time